Hey guys, in this video I'll be telling you the top 5 things you must do in the third C. By the end of this video, you will know your priorities, and what to do to speed up your game progression. This video may potentially stop you from quitting the game, since the third C is usually where people quit the game since they have nothing to do. Also, I'm doing two Dart Blade giveaways right now in my Discord server since I recently hit 15,000 subscribers, so make sure to join it, link in description. Alright let's begin. When you reach the third C, you unlock portals. There are only two portals however, one of them teleports you to the floating turtle island, the other teleports you to Hydra Island. Even though there are only two portals, and not a portal for every island, they are still really useful and are worth unlocking. The main reason it's useful is that one of the portals teleport you to the floating turtle island, which is one of the main islands in the third sea, since that's where the fruit dealers are. It's also usually where PvP fights take place. The Hydra Island isn't really an important teleport, it's only useful if you want Yama or do the Tushita puzzle and need a fast way to teleport to Hydra Island. But those are only one-time needed teleports, you won't need to keep coming to Hydra Island for Yama slash Tushita once you obtain them. I guess it's also useful if you want to try out combos or if you want to do friendly 1v1s and not lose bounty slash honor. But anyway, you may be wondering, how do I unlock access to portals? The answer is simple, you just have to spawn and defeat Rip underscore Indra. You can spawn Indra by getting a God's Chalice and spawning him. You can get a God's Chalice from one of these methods. Defeating elite bosses, getting it from a chest after your server is 4 hours old, praying at Haunted Castle. I made a detailed guide on how to get the God's Chalice fast, I'll leave a card up top if you want to watch it. Once you've gotten the Chalice, just hold it in front of this podium and it'll spawn Rip underscore Indra. You also need to do the 3 legendary hockey color quest, but I won't go too in depth into the quest. Indra has two forms. His first form has 425,000 health, and when you defeat him, he will fully regenerate to 425,000 health and be on his final form and do more damage. Once you defeat him, you'll gain access to portals as well as other rewards such as fragments and his accessory. So yeah, make sure to unlock portals. PvPing in Blocks Fruits isn't really an important thing to do, but it's a great thing to do since it keeps you busy. However, I would only recommend to start PvPing when you're max level, for the max amount of damage, health, and stamina. Some people don't really like to PvP which is fine, but PvPing is really fun, and it's also quite useful. Also, if you know how to PvP, you can start to bounty hunt. And if you don't know, you get more defense and do more damage the higher your bounty slash honor is. Here's the bounty slash honor system if you're wondering. So yeah, the higher bounty slash honor you have, the less damage you take, and you deal more damage, which is really useful. Also when you reach 10 million bounty slash honor, you can spawn a fake sea beast. A fake sea beast has very little health, and doesn't give any rewards when you kill it. You may think it's useless if it won't give any rewards, but it can be useful for doing raids, or trolling people. Also, I would highly recommend to not PvP if you aren't max level. If you're like level 1800, you will have a huge disadvantage with your health and damage, and you won't have items like Soul Guitar slash CDK unlocked. Yes, I know there are many other PvP combos that don't include those items, but many combos usually include those items. The main problem is that you won't have your stat points maxed out, which will be a big issue when PvPing. So I would hold off PvP until you're max level. Anyway, yeah. Make sure to try out PvPing when you're max level, since it can be really fun once you learn a few combos. Getting Race V4 is one of the most important things to obtain in the third C. It gives you insane buffs and overpowered abilities. One of the overpowered buffs is that while you're in your Race V4 form, you get max stat points on every section, I'm doing the max amount of damage on my blocks fruit even though I don't have any stat points into that section. I'm also doing the max amount of damage on my soul guitar even though I don't have any stat points into the gun section. To not make race v4 too overpowered, your stat points become normal when your race v4 form runs out. I'm not going to tell you how to get race v4 since the quest is quite long, and you have to do a lot of stuff. But here's the race v4 quest in a nutshell. Kill rip underscore indra at least once, find mirage island during nighttime and get the blue gear, go above the great tree. Pull the lever, get 3 people, with different races and complete the trial. 
That's basically the Race V4 Quest in a nutshell. I missed out on many important things for the Race V4 Quest, but once again, I won't go too in depth on the Race V4 Quest since it'll be very long. However, if you guys want me to make a fully detailed guide on the Race V4 Quest, let me know down in the comments. Anyway yeah, make sure to get Race V4. Getting endgame loot and blocks fruits is quite essential since it can keep you occupied whenever you're bored. Personally, I don't recommend immediately start grinding for something like the Cursed Dual Katana if you reach the requirements to obtain it. If you rushed all the endgame loot when you reach the requirements to obtain it, and you don't enjoy PvPing, you will be bored with the game when you're max level. Blocks Fruits also takes months for big updates, so by the time a big update comes out, you may have quit the game. As a person who's been playing Blocks Fruits for a long time, I can tell you that it's extremely boring when you're max level, and you're not interested in PvPing. But anyway, if you're dried out from grinding and want to do something new, yeah sure unlock the item. But aside from all of that, it's very crucial to make sure you unlock endgame loot such as the Cursed Dual Katana. The Cursed Dual Katana is the strongest sword in the game at the moment, even better than the Dark Blade, which costs 1200 Robux. So you can basically get the best sword in the game for free, while in other games the best items usually cost Robux. Now you also have to be level 2200 or above and have 350 mastery on both the Yama and Tushita swords but we don't talk about that. Also when you reach level 2300 you can do the Soul Guitar quest. The quest is pretty simple, but the materials needed to forge it, is not. The Soul Guitar is one of the best, if not, the best, gun in the game, as it has great life steal with its X move. It's also one of the best guns for PvP for its C and X skill. So yeah. Make sure to get endgame loot. Having fun is always important, but in the third C it can be even more important as you will eventually get bored once you're max level and have nothing to do. Each person has their own way of having fun, so make sure you keep yourself happy when playing Blocks Fruits. I would highly recommend playing with friends in the third C as it will make you have much more enjoyment. Having fun in the third C is really important as it's the C you will probably quit on since you'll be max level and have nothing to do. So if you are grinding constantly, make sure to take a break and play with some friends in Blocks Fruits. Playing with friends will most likely slow down your grinding, but I'd still highly recommend it, as it's a fun and enjoyable experience than playing alone. Also, if you've made it all the way to the third C playing alone, you will definitely be a bit bored with the game without any friends. If you have no friends, however, you can always make some, or just play alone I guess. Anyway guys, that's the end of this video. If you find this video useful, please make sure to like and subscribe and maybe share this video with a friend as it would mean the world to me. Also, make sure to join my Discord server as I'm hosting two Dark Blade giveaways in it for 15k subscribers. Anyways, bye.